Hey guys, uh, this is in reference to the Onan 5500 generator. Uh, brand new. I got the same problem other people have had where um, it runs for like 30 seconds or a minute, spits, 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 sputters, and then dies. And I saw a bunch of videos about checking the oil level that these are way too full and the sensors are making it shut down. So, look at that. It is full to the top. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to take a, a pumper out of a soap bottle and use that to extract the oil and uh, get it down to the level that they say you're supposed to be on the dipstick, which is just above the ad line by maybe an eighth of an inch. So we're going to try it and see what happens. Stay tuned. Well, here we are pumping oil out of here. Um, my wife brought me this uh, handy little pump sprayer out of a soap bottle. Here's what we took out so far. That's a 16 ounce. You said 16? Yep. And I'm going to town on this bottle. Um, it was still way above the fill line on the dipstick. So we're going to keep extracting. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's what we took out so far to get it to where it should be on the dipstick, according to the videos I've watched, plus that solo cup full. So we are going to prime the motor. minutes flawless running it wouldn't stay running for more than two two and a half minutes before so apparently same thing happened to me as hundreds of others from the videos that I've watched too much oil from the factory ran like a top so if your uh, owning generator is running like crap uh, fresh out of the factory that might be a good reason why check your oil reservoir it's way too full what it should be, according to what I saw, was right at the bottom line of the ad level to about an eighth of an inch above it. And mine's about an eighth of an inch above it and work, working flawlessly. So it worked.